Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's practice is a 30 minute heart chakra practice. So we'll be doing a lot of heart opening and a lot of poses that lead with the chest and the heart space. We're bringing our hands into the Lotus Mudra, bringing our pinkies and thumbs together, making a flower shape holding the lotus at the heart and just starting with a couple deep breaths inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth a couple more times Just taking a moment here to get our mind and body prepared for a good practice today. And on your next inhale, sweep your lotus up exhale reach forward just coming to a seated bend in your easy seat coming back to a neutral spine Sweep your arms up with an inhale, interlacing those fingers, pressing those palms towards the sky, and then bringing those fingers behind your head as we work into some seated cat cow. We'll inhale as we open, exhale as we close. So the elbows will come out wide as we open, lifting the heart and the elbows will come together as we close chin down towards the chest rounding the spine arching as you open and rounding as you close moving with your breath for a couple more reps the hands go ahead and float your body up to tabletop bringing those big toes together knees come out wide floating your hips back towards your heels for a child's pose melting your heart down towards your mat just letting your body relax down into your child's pose and remember, if at any time you need a break during your practice, you can come to your child's pose. Remembering to listen to your body and remembering to do what feels good within your body. Float your body forward and we'll come down to our belly, extending the arms out on either side of our body and we will move into a shoulder stretch, stretching the right shoulder first. You can either come up on the left knee or you can take that foot and start to float it over towards the right side. Keeping that right arm flat on the ground, opening your chest to the left. We'll do that on the other side, coming up on the right knee or floating the right foot over to the left. 
left arm resting on the ground, opening the chest to the right. Coming back to center, placing the hands underneath the shoulders, folding your body back to child's pose, we'll move into striking cobra. Grazing the ground with your chest as you inhale up to your cobra. Feel free to stay here or rest down on your forearms, or if you like, you can move into a couple more rounds of striking cobra. Holding back to child's pose with an exhale and then inhaling back up to your striking cobra. Making sure the shoulders are engaged and that the thighs are engaged, that you're not sinking down too much in the shoulders and the thighs are engaged to protect your lower back. One more inhale and striking cobra. Exhale, float back to child's pose again. Let's float our body back up to table, tucking those toes under as we lift the hips up and back, coming to our first down dog. Feel free to shift your weight from one foot to the other. Maybe alternate bending each knee. Sweep the right leg up with an inhale. You can also do this down from the hands and knees. Bringing the right knee into the chest as you step it up in between the hands. Top of the back foot comes flat. Inhale up for a low lunge and then grab either elbow here, opening the chest. Now, if you need some more support, feel free to just rest the hands on the knee. Release, bring the hands down on either side of that front foot and begin to shift your weight back for a half split. You can let those toes face the ceiling or keep that front foot flat, melting the chest down. If you want more, You'll come into revolve gate pose, lowering that left forearm down to the ground as you reach that right arm up towards the sky. But again, feel free to stay in original half split pose. Inhale, exhale, coming back to half split, float your body forward and moving into low lunge, pulling that heart up towards the sky and then we'll exhale back to half split. Moving in and out of these two positions, couple more rounds. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, lunge. Ending here. Tuck that back toe under and we'll sweep the arms up for a high lunge. If you need some support, go ahead and rotate that back heel down flat. Then interlace the fingers, letting the pointer fingers come together, opening the chest in your high lunge. Inhale, exhale, release those hands behind you. Interlace the fingers as you open the chest. Straighten the front knee and exhale down to pyramid pose. Feel free to bring those hands down to the ground for support and also feel free to have a bend in that front knee for support. Remembering to work with what works with your body. Inhale, exhale, release to a lunge. Stepping that right foot back, you can move straight to down dog or move through your vinyasa. Vinyasa is always optional. You can skip vinyasa if you like. And then just making your way back to down dog, to child's pose, or maybe even puppy pose down on the knees with the arms extended out. And we'll do all that on the other side. Bringing that left foot up with an inhale. Exhale, step it up in between your hands, lowering the right knee down, sweeping those arms up. 
This time switching the orientation of your arms as you grab those elbows. Release, inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down on either side of the foot, floating your body back for a half split again. Staying in this position or lowering that right forearm down and extending the left arm up. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand and float your body back to a low lunge. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, melt the heart down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, ending in your low lunge. Tuck that right toe under, exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms up for a high lunge. Could tell I'm a little less balanced on this side. Interlace those fingers, pointing those pointer fingers away, lifting the heart. Exhale, straighten that front knee, interlace the fingers behind you, pulling those fists down and away. Inhale, exhale down for pyramid pose on this side. And sometimes widening your stance a little bit helps you to balance in these types of poses. Inhale, release. Exhale, plant those hands down. Step back to plank, moving through a vinyasa or taking a rest or moving straight back to your down dog, whatever you're feeling might be different than the first couple times. That's totally fine. And we will begin to move into wild thing pose, starting with three leg dog, lifting the right leg, bending at the knee as you look under the right armpit. Start to lower that right foot down. Left foot is flat on the ground, right foot is up on the tiptoe, or you can modify by lowering the left knee to the ground Right leg extends out, sweeping that left arm up and over. Whichever one works for you. Use the modification if you need to. Bringing the hips down, slowly coming back around to down dog. And then stepping that foot up in between the hands, lowering down on the back knee again. Sweep those arms up, inhale. Exhale, bend at the elbows as you open the chest, making a cactus shape with those arms. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the hands down on either side of the foot. And go ahead and roll onto the side of your right foot, pressing that knee away with the right hand. Left hand is underneath the shoulder, opening your heart up towards the sky, staying here, or you can bend at that back knee, reaching around, grabbing that back knee, using the twist to lift your heart towards the sky. Release, inhale, exhale, come to lunge. Move through your vinyasa if you like, or skip it. Doing the same thing on the left side. Begin to inhale that left foot up, bend at the knee, look under the armpit. Start to lower that left foot down. Right foot is flat and extended. Left knee is bent up on the left tiptoe, reaching with that left arm. Modify by bringing the right knee down. Really lifting those hips in your wild thing pose. Extend that left leg back up. 
in your down dog, stepping it up in between the hands, lowering that back knee down, sweep the arms up, inhale, exhale, make a cactus shape with those arms. Remember to bring the hand to the knee if you need more support. Inhale back up, exhale the hands down, open that left knee up by rolling your foot onto its side, pressing into the left knee with the left hand, opening the heart towards the sky, or reaching around and grabbing that back foot, making sure that um, hand is underneath the shoulder just to prevent injury here. Come back around to the front. Bring a hand on either side of the foot. Step back to plank and move through your vinyasa. Or take a rest. Take an inhale here. Exhale, drop down to those knees. Bring the knees together as you come to a child's pose with close knees. And then let the arms extend down towards your sides. Letting those arms relax down in your child's pose, falling over the knees, just getting a counter stretch to that back bending we were doing. Start to float your body back up to a neutral spine. Interlace your fingers and pull the fists away. Trying to keep those wrists close together, lower your heart down over your knees. And remember, you can bring a pillow or a block or a rolled up blanket or towel underneath your hips for elevation if this is a lot, or just skip the pose. Sweep your body up to a kneeling position. We'll get ready to move into camel pose. I like to fold my mat over and bring it underneath my knees just for a little bit more cushion. So go ahead and make sure the hips are over those knees, pressing the tailbone down, and then lift with the heart. Hands are on the hips, or you can rest your forearms on your lower back. If you want more, begin to bring the hands back towards the heels, lifting with the heart, gently letting the head fall back, not throwing the head back. Then we'll counter with a child's pose. And we'll move into camel pose a second time. Hips over knees. Lift with the heart, hands on the hips, or forearms resting on the lower back. Go ahead and find those heels, and if you want more, you can extend either arm, starting with the right. Lower, and extend the left. Inhale. Exhale, back to a neutral position. We'll lower it back down into child's pose. Again, just countering that back bend. Camel pose tends to be a lot for my lower back. So I like to spend a good amount of time in child's pose afterwards. Float your body back up to a neutral spine and extend those legs out in front. Tall straight back here. Sweep those arms up with an inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest falling down over the legs for a seated forward bend. Not worrying about grabbing your feet, just letting your hands come to your shins, your ankles, wherever they can rest comfortably.
roll back up to a seated position bend those knees scooting the hips towards the heels as you come down to your back hugging the knees into the chest to start rocking side to side and release those feet down to your mat hips width apart and walk your feet back until you feel your fingertips make sure that lower back is pressing into the ground and start to lift your hips for bridge pose think of an imaginary block between your knees pressing those knees together and then if you're feeling comfortable you can interlace your fingers and roll your shoulders underneath your body really pulling that heart up towards your face and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time to come out of the pose hug your knees back into your chest and for this second bridge pose I'll give you the option to move into wheel pose but feel free to stay in bridge pose or feel free to rest Coming back to bridge as we lift the hips, press those knees together, melt the heart towards your face. And if you want to come into wheel, bend those elbows, palms are near each side of your head and start to extend those arms, really melting the heart towards the back wall. Inhale, exhale, slowly come down. Hug the knees into the chest again. Release the knees, bringing them to a 90 degree angle and cross your left knee over your right and start to let those knees fall over to the right side. Letting that left arm float out to the side, making a cactus shape elbow in line with the shoulder and maybe bringing your gaze over to the left side Exhale back to center. Cross the right leg over the left and float your knees to the left side, making a cactus shape to the right. Gaze is to the right if that feels okay. Exhale, release, squeeze those knees into the chest. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release those feet towards the corners of your mat. Arms at your sides with your palms facing upward as we move into our Shavasana. Beginning to come back to those breaths we used at the beginning of class. Slowing down your breathing with deep inhales and exhales.
coming back to your natural breath. Allowing your body to melt deeper into your mat with each exhale. Letting go of any tension you may be holding in the body. And as you lay here relaxing, I will read some heart chakra affirmations to you and just repeat them silently to yourself. My heart is open and receptive to love. I love myself infinitely and unconditionally. I am kind to myself and others. There is nothing wrong with me. I deserve unconditional love. I am able to forgive, let go, and heal. My heart is open and receptive to love. I love myself infinitely and unconditionally. I am kind to myself and others. There is nothing wrong with me. I deserve unconditional love. I am able to forgive, let go, and heal. My heart is open and receptive to love. I love myself infinitely and unconditionally. I am kind to myself and others. There is nothing wrong with me. I deserve unconditional love. I am able to forgive, let go, and heal. And on your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. When you're ready, gently rolling over to your right side, using your arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment to reflect on those affirmations and also to show yourself gratitude for practicing self-love and self-care. And begin to float your body up to a seated position, sweeping those arms up with an inhale, letting the hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me for this heart chakra practice. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.